Hey, hello there, sign of Leo. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. Um, so let's get this started. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for the um, views. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and attention. So let's find messages from your angels and your spirit guides that are for the greater good always. There might be some worry here about a burden that you might be carrying. Five of Pentacles. I saw that. So this is vice versa tarot. Um, and so we, we don't do reversals with it, but I will I will let you know how we read it because I do read these a little bit different than regular tarot. Okay, for Leo, general messages, please. Anything's allowed as long as it's for their greater good. Sign of Leo, there's your star. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Well, it can be about a, a certain type of power. It can be. It can be growing and growing in personal development, developing firm foundations. Okay, let's see. So we have the tower energy. Gosh, we have the six of pentacles. We have the emperor in reverse. We have the world card, which is great. We have the nine of cups, but kind of like the selfish kind. The nine of swords. Oh, God. King of wands. Three of Pentacles, which that one's pretty good, right? Star in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're by yourself here, Leo. By yourself here, but you're, um, you, you've done a good job, <laughs> but you kind of look like you're by yourself with this Ten of Pentacles, like you've done really super well, but you're alone. Well, and you might not be lonely, lonely. You might have dog, cat, something like that. Or maybe people come to you, I don't know, for money. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but there is a tower moment. There's um, a lightning bolt. But, but see, it's hitting a tower that's already been broken up. So this is the tower where there's people in it and all that stuff. This one, it's like lightning striking something that we've already walked away from. That it's already happened. You know what I mean? Something wasn't fair. Something wasn't reciprocal. And that is the challenge. It may have been with the Taurus, but something didn't work out. And I feel like... It's, it's stemming from a, a pretty long-term thing with this tower moment. It, trying to rebuild and then something is striking it. So, the emperor energy is making me feel like it might be you holding yourself back. There's the number four for firm foundations. Um, it's the emperor energy in reverse. So, it could be like dealing with an authority over something. It can be a person that uses fear to um, guide or instruct people. So you could be dealing with somebody like this. It could be an Aries energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. We have 9-9 nine, nine in your um, reading and well, that one looks like it, but 9-9, nine, nine, um, letting go of the past. So the Nine of Cups is like, make sure that you're celebrating with others your um, good fortune here. I feel like that's what it's saying. So instead of offering up the good fortune, it's like, okay, we're looking over it, looking over our Nine Cups, and it's almost like we may be in danger of overdoing it. So just be careful with that. The cups represent different things to different people. 
So I have the Nine of Swords, but this is actually, you know, it's kind of good energy because we can change it. it. It's truly energy that you control because it's your thinking. Um, and, and you know what you think about comes about. You may have disappointed somebody with this Aquarius energy star in the reverse. You may have disappointed someone and, and are now thinking, gosh, I don't know what to do. I feel like my hands are tied in a situation and I've already disappointed somebody. But I'm telling you, you're large and in charge. Um, King of Wands here, this is how you are feeling. Um, because you're the master builder here. You have a plan. I feel like you have a strategy. Um, I do feel like you're laying down the groundwork for what you're doing and receiving guidance, especially from up above, as we say. Ready for um, a healthy competition here. Ready for a healthy competition. Um, in your environment, we may need to do some more research. Compromise. Collaborating. Getting along well with others. <laughs> that sounds like a report card. So then I have the Ten of Pentacles as the outcome. And like I say, it's it with this card. Now, I, I mean, I would think maybe people are coming to you needing money on the other side. So maybe this side is more of a you have what you want. And the thing that's loyal, most loyal to you is probably this pet. <laughs> um, and you're loyal to it. And the money looks really, really good. And the security and safety looks good. It looks to me like you're the master builder and you're rebuilding a tower and um, a past tower moment. The only thing that can get you stuck is either overindulgence mixed with um, automatic negative thinking. So just keep an eye on that. And everything looks really good, honestly. I don't even want to clarify. I think it's a good reading. Um, yes, it's good, Leo. It's good. Not all towers are um, bad, especially in this position with the, you know, the artwork being what it is. Something is going to get balanced. Make sure your thoughts are balanced, 6-6. Six, six. I am positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you're manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. And... Else. 20 i'm harmonious you can relate to others on almost a cosmic level you build harmonious relationships of all kinds you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means i'm harmonious okay 16 approval choose to approve of yourself and others will too and don't worry about it 24, authentic self-expression. Be true to who you really are, and your life will change in the most amazing of ways. Whoa. 28, boundaries. You're learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Number one, speaking up. Your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Aww. And then 30. So some of you are headed for fame. 30, shooting star. You're a shooting star. You're about to step into your fullest potential. And one more so that we can get for number six, right? Harmony and everything go well. Number four, uh, there's stable foundations. Good. The void, you may be covering up the emptiness or pain through an addiction. You may be covering up the emptiness or pain through an addiction. That's what I've got for you. Leo, sending you love and light. Bye-bye.